everyone, it's Emma, and today we are going to be trying to decompose some biodegradable poop bags. I'll leave my original video about reviewing these, talking about these, how do these even work type thing. I'll leave that video right here. So this brand is Pet and Pet. I have used them for over a year now, but they are certified compostable poop bags. They meet compostable standards, compostable, though it does say compostable in industrial facilities, not suitable for backyard composting. And I think that's only because you shouldn't compost your pet's waste or your own waste in your own compost that you're going to be putting on your garden. So I think the industrial facilities have a much better way of handling waste, like this type of waste. Therefore, my theory is that these are by themselves without any pet waste in them are backyard compostable. I was approached by someone on Instagram and they really enjoyed my video, thought it would be really helpful, but they gave me an idea slash a tip to help my viewers is to actually try this out and see if they do break down naturally. That's a great idea. I don't know why I haven't thought of that. So we're gonna try to decompose these in my backyard. Another thing to note, these are made of 100% plant-based material. They are made out of cornstarch and it also says that they do contain no polyethylene plastic. If it's made completely out of plants, I think they are backyard compostable. That's my theory, they are, but when you put your pet waste in them, they, they are not. Also leave a full blog post review linked down below. Let's go outside on my balcony. Sorry about the noise, there's a lot of traffic right now. But basically, here's what I have. Ugh, hope there's no bugs. I have this old planter. I have one little aloe growing in here, and I've got a weed. Here's the bag, and all I'm simply going to do is bury it in here with this aloe and this weed, check on it every few days to see the progress and see how this goes. It really should completely disappear into the dirt. One more thing to note, we have this little like cement pad in our yard that we just toss them on. Sometimes we have left them there for too long and they already start to break down. So from what I've seen, they do break down naturally. I'm just gonna play this by ear. I'm gonna experiment with some different things. Try it out. I will see you back here in a couple days. I think it's day five. I want to do a quick check-in to see how it's doing. It was shortly after I buried it, Mochi pulled it halfway out. I don't really know how to do this. Should I pull it all the way out and then rebury it? I think I'm just gonna... Okay, so I also added some water shortly after. So far, it doesn't seem to be breaking down. Replant it, so there we go. So I think I'm gonna add a little more water, hopefully expedite the process. I'll probably do like every four or five days or so. If it's not going that fast, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be doing this every day. She is, okay. You gonna help? Yeah, you helping? Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pull it all the way out, apparently. I still don't really see any signs of decay. I think it's been nearly two weeks since I put it in there. I think I'm actually gonna conduct a second experiment and see if putting it out there more in the elements helps it decompose faster. Because up here, it's kind of tucked in the corner of my balcony, it gets rained on. So I think maybe if it's exposed to more, more sun, more wind, more rain, I think I'm going to go put one downstairs No. I'm going to kind of, like you put stakes in a tent, I'm gonna put stakes in this so it doesn't blow away. Now we just have to watch out for this when we mow the yard. I'm watching. Hello, girl. What's going on? Come on. Good girl. Just sat on mochi. I've been periodically checking on this one out here because mochi likes to dig in here and take the bag out. Here's what we have a few days in. There are some holes, but they might be from mochi. It feels a lot thinner than when it started out. I feel like something's happening, but like it's still, other than her chew holes, it's still probably usable. This isn't compost. So that's probably why it's not working the best because this is this is just dirt. It's, there's nothing else in here to help it break down. I'm gonna rebury this and then we're gonna go check on 
the now two bags I have sitting outside. Okay, this is your like five, 10 second warning. I'm about to show a bag that's actually full of poop. We had one, so I figured we'd keep it for the experiment. So there's your heads up if you don't want to see it, just skip forward. This one has almost no changes. Actually, let's see if you can see this. It might be a little hard to tell, but there's right there, there are some holes. Yeah, and there's a couple things like getting scuffed up on the edges. This one feels like the same texture as it was when I first put it out here. It doesn't feel like um, it's gotten any thinner or anything. Here's your actual warning, here comes the poop bag. In the name of science. See all those holes? This one's doing really well. And honestly, so the top part, like without the poop in it, has a few holes in it. This part has a lot of holes in it. I think partially because of like the stuff in the poop helping it break down, but also the bugs trying to get in there to eat it. Funny story with this one out here. We were outside eating dinner the other night and Mochi peed in it. Okay, let's let's find out what this one looks like. So, that little leaf. Where in the world is it? There it is. There are several holes started, like more than last time. And um, I added more dirt. Yeah, I think we're like a month in now at this point and still only just a few holes, which is kind of upsetting. It has been raining like all week, so I figured, I figured that like the extreme-ish conditions would kind of help it to break down better. Again, I think this one's got a few more holes. It's kind of hard to tell. These ones are all the way through now. Yeah, you can kind of see them. Here's what I'm gonna do now. Hopefully to make this go faster and better. I'm gonna open it up. Oh! Okay, when you open it up. Oh, look at all these holes. Hopefully now that it's like less layers, it will be able to decompose faster. up off of the sidewalk and here's what it looks like there's a big hole I don't know if you can tell there's a big hole right there and there's even some holes up here yeah you can see them oh yes nice so far I think my hypothesis remains that the poop actually helps it break down faster therefore I think also it break down faster and it compost like with all the other organic matter helping it to break down that's all for today I'll catch you back here again in like a week Hello everyone, we are back on back porch. It's been a while. It's probably been a few weeks. Well, it's still all in one piece. Here, here it is. But it seems like there's more holes. Ooh, there's a lot more holes than last time. Oh yeah, it's ripping. I promise I didn't do that on purpose. Yeah, look at all these little tears. So it is doing something, which is exciting. Oh yeah, look at it. Look, oh my gosh, it's getting somewhere. So what I think I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to peel it ever so gently and then put it back in there in one single layer instead of like the four layers. Look at this progress. I don't really have anything else to say about the ones with poop in them, just they seem to be doing the best. And then here's this one. This poor one that I keep shoving into the ground with sticks is getting really beat up just from me. <gasps> But it is doing so good. I assume we're probably about halfway to them being completely decomposed, which is pretty cool. I, yeah, I anticipate it being maybe another month or so. so. All three of them now are making really great progress. So I really hope that you stay tuned to the end to see the final results. First off, right now I'm noticing that they work the best when it comes to decomposition once they've actually been used and there's poop, AKA organic matter, already in the bag, helping the decom decomposition process to speed up, as opposed to sitting in the dirt or sitting on top of the grass. Those two are still doing surprisingly well, but they are going a lot slower. I honestly expected the one that was buried to go the quickest. If, if your city does have an industrial compost, use that if they accept it, because some, some cities might not accept waste. But I guess what I'm trying to see too is, would it be okay to just 
chuck these in the bushes, chuck them in the woods, will they actually do their job? And so far, yes, they will. It will just take a while. I don't know if this is wrong, but I think it's fine because I personally think it's, it's better for it to take, you know, four to eight months outside because if you put that in a trash bag and that plastic trash bag goes to the landfill, that bag of poop is never gonna decompose and it's just gonna turn into CO2. So let me know your thoughts below if you think it's better to just chuck it into the woods or if we should still be putting these bags into the, into the trash. And then also if you're interested, I think I'm gonna just make this a series here on my channel called Does It Decompose? And we're gonna chuck stuff into the ground and see if it decomposes. The next thing I'm going to be doing along this series is the Pila case. If you haven't seen the full review and unboxing of that, I'll leave that linked up there as well and down below. It's been a while since I've checked in. Here it is. Oh my gosh, look at this. It is a very, very fragile. Like I feel like I'm holding like the Declaration of Independence or something and it's just gonna crumble in my hands. <laughs> I mean, not much to say. It speaks for itself now. So I'm very impressed with how this is coming. See you in a few minutes. Okay, and we're downstairs now. Yeah, it's doing pretty good. I think we've got like three here now, actually. No real um, significant findings there. You know the one that I stabbed into the ground? That one has, that one's gone completely now, partially because I think that one was just doing the best because it's been exposed to the elements and stuff. Also because I think Dan forgot about it and I'm pretty sure he mowed over it the other day. So I recently created my own compost. So as you can tell, this video takes a lot of time, a lot of energy to make. So if you like this video and you appreciate all the time I put into it, I in turn would really appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Oh, some of it broke. Oh, okay, just a, just a teeny tiny piece broke off. Okay, I think I got it all. Here it is. I just get more impressed after every single time I dig it up. Progress, lots of progress. Oh my gosh, it is literally so fragile. That's really all I have because the one downstairs, Dan mowed over, and then the other one that has the poop in it, we already threw like six more bags up there so I can't tell which one's the original. So now we're just gonna be monitoring this guy down here. Quick apology about my hair. It's not like in this humidity, that looks terrible. Anyways, today is the last day, I think, of the poop bag experiment. I'm gonna dig it up one last time. Honestly, I'm probably just gonna leave it in there until it's completely gone, but, but for the sake of the video and for the sake of time, I'm just going to call it quits here on the decomposition process. If you'd like to see an update, let me know. I can put it on Instagram or I can put it on here. But for now, I'm gonna dig it up one last time. We're gonna take one last look at it and then that'll be it. So let's get to digging. This is a terrible angle. It's like in the roots, I think, of this aloe plant. Part of it fell off, okay. Sorry about all these leaves. I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Oh my gosh. It's really getting, getting there. It literally has roots growing through it. I would estimate in another couple months, like maybe two months, it might be completely gone. I'm gonna tear it up into a few shreds, place it throughout, and then see how long it takes to finally all the way decompose. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was interesting. I hope it was informational. And I hope that you support a brand that makes compostable poop bags. I think it is one of the more eco-friendly options when it comes to disposing of your pet's waste. And another eco-friendly thing that you can do if you can't afford or just want a, a free option is to use things like grocery store bags, bread bags, tortilla bags, random miscellaneous plastic bags that you get from the grocery store. Just use that to pick up your dog's poop because those bags are gonna get thrown away anyway, so you might as well get some use out of them. But if you're looking for a better option that actually does decompose, again, if you wanna watch the entire review, you can check that out up here. I'll also leave it linked down below. It's one of my first videos I've ever made, so it's a little cringy. <laughs> Sorry in advance. If you want to support an eco-friendly company that makes really great compostable poop bags, I highly recommend Pet and Pet. And I know there's other brands out there as well if you want to support one of those brands. Because as you can see, at least with this brand, you'll have to check out the other brands uh, more thoroughly. They actually do decompose, and I think that's really, really cool. If you do not watch my other video, something very important to note is that this brand is made 100% from plants. A lot of the other compostable poop bags are still made out of plastic. Plastic, they just contain chemicals that help the plastic break down so it's still not good it'll never fully break down because it is made out of plastic so that is definitely the number one perk about these is they are made out of 
100% plant-based material. They're made out of cornstarch and they contain no plastic at all. That's why I personally chose this brand is because it's 100% plants. Also a huge thank you to Pet and Pet for gifting me this box of poop bags. If you found this video helpful and think it might help somebody else, don't forget to share this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if you're new here, please hit subscribe. It would definitely make my day. I talk about all sorts of zero waste, low waste living on this channel. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and taking time out of your day. And until next time, remember that these small changes you make have a big impact in the long run. Bye guys.